The Memorial Designer Classic Collection is a great way to start out on a design. If we flip through the book here, um, at the beginning there are full layouts. So we can go ahead and find a full layout. We're just looking under markers and bevels right now. And just find one that we like and find the number here, 347. Once you or your customer have chosen um, the design from the book, it's as simple as coming up and clicking on the Open by Number button here or clicking the O on your keyboard. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then we type in our number here. So 347 is the design that we chose out of the book. And you can either hit Enter or just hit Open. And that will go and search for that design and then load it, load it for us. If the family liked the overall design but didn't like the pine cones, we could go ahead and switch those out with anything that we want. In the back side of the book are individual pieces of clip art that we can choose from. So we'll go ahead and find a bird here for uh, for her side. Uh, 3235 looks like a good one. We'll go ahead and use open by number again. Um, first we'll delete this uh, pine cone since she doesn't want that. Um, but we will use open by number again. This time though, since we've already started on a design, we'll click on the import file button and that's where we'll uh, type in 3235, which is the bird that we chose, and we'll go ahead and click import. That will bring it into our current design instead of opening up a new one. Then I can bring it up over here into the side, I could flip it, and I could resize it to bring it down to, to be able to fit. So for his side, we'll go back to the design book and we'll flip over to uh, the part that has hobbies and um, occupations in it. And we'll see if we can find something for him. Uh, let's just assume that he was a barber. 3780 there, clippers and a comb. We'll go with that. So for his side, we'll go. Uh, we'll do the, the same thing. We'll go ahead and just delete the pine cones here and then go back up to open by number and this time hit import file again type in 3780 and hit import and it will bring those clippers and comb in then we can bring them over here and resize them a little bit perhaps and then we've got it laid out something to remember with using open by number is that by default it's set to search through the classic collection of designs which is okay um, but if you wanted to search through your own designs or possibly wanted to move where the classic collection was located, uh, you'd open up the Open by Number dialog again, and this time click on Settings. You'll see that it shows the folder that it's searching through. If you wanted to point to a new folder, you would just click on the Browse button here, and then you could go and choose a different folder on your system, or you could even just create a new one. So let's just go to the C drive here and say make a new folder and we'll just call it artwork maybe. Now it is set to uh, search through that folder. One of the things that you'd probably want to have checked is the search subfolders. That way in case you have multiple folders inside this one it will also search through those. You just have to remember that the more subfolders that you have the longer it's going to take for it to search through those in order to find your design. But once you've got that set to where you want it just go ahead and click on save settings and the settings will be saved. Now since I have nothing in that folder, if I were to go and try to open up even 347, the same one that we opened before, and click open, it's going to say, well, we can't find design number 347 on your computer. Would you like us to try Memorial Designer Online? Um, right now this doesn't actually work because I recently moved servers. Um, so if I click on yes, it's going to say, sorry, but we can't find design number 347 online either. However, um, in the near future it will work and uh, when you click yes it will go and find that design on my servers and then it will download that uh, locally just in case you don't have the file locally um, or in case I come out with more designs uh, that you don't have it'll be an easy way of getting to them. The last thing to note with open by number is um, that if we hold down the control button on our keyboard and then click open by number while we're holding control it opens up a different dialog which is called open by control number. This is used for opening designs that we've already saved and especially orders that we already have. Um, with each of my orders I have an order number so I'm going to type in MD16-0026 and go ahead and click on open 
And what that does is it will go and find the file and bring it in for me. It already had granite fill, so I'll just restore those. Um, but we can see here from the file path that um, the file name itself was md16-0026 and then the last name comma first name. If I had to go find this by hand, I'd have to click on the open button and then I'd have to go to my folder where I normally save my artwork or my designs under current work here. Then I'd have to go to my customer and I have everything uh, saved as uh, a folder here. I mean, then under there is where the f file is. And so I would have to go and search through all those in order to find it. Where instead, if I already know the order number, all I have to do is type in the MD16-0026, and it fills in the rest for me by going and finding that order number. Once again, if you wanted to change the settings for that, you can hold Control, click on Open by Number, and it would open up the Open by Control number. And just as we did before, you'd go to Settings, uh, this shows my current folder, but if you wanted to click on the browse, you can do that and go and change to wherever you save your designs. So this is a different folder from the one that um, the classic collection or regular designs are loading from. So this way you can open up files from two different locations, as well as one is looking for clip art and the other is looking for uh, designs that have been saved as orders. Um, it is meant to look for an order number first and then you can fill in you know, whatever you want for the name and such after that. But it's looking for designs that have an order number at the beginning. Um, so those are the different ways in which you can use open by number and open by control number.